I want to talk to you this morning about the um, fastest growing part of our business. And uh, here's some interesting uh, statistics uh, you might find. Um, basically, the number of auto dealerships has decreased over the last decade. Uh, a lot of you are maybe wanting to get into the car business and looking at those opportunities. But the fastest growing part of our business now uh, is our buyer's agent. Uh, uh, last month, uh, we uh, were a buyer's agent for, uh, I don't know, I guess four or five customers uh, that, that actually just contacted us. And it starts out as, can you find me a vehicle? And, um, you know, it's one of the most common things that you get out there, uh, looking for people's uh, vehicles. So, uh, you know, everybody claims to always be on the lookout, but we have brought a level to it, or Shane has done the majority of this work. Uh, I have a few people that I purchase some cars for. I, I send my people over to Shane, of course, uh, but we acted as a buyer's agent on, on a few deals last month, and they, they were just, they worked out great. The people that uh, used us uh, uh, to buy their cars have been absolutely um, just thrilled to death with them. They were used cars. Uh, and, and I'm going to go over with you why uh, uh, you can be a buyer's agent. You don't necessarily need a lot. You don't necessarily need a uh, retail license. You need access to the auction and to dealers as a wholesaler uh, to be a buyer's agent. And, and it has worked great for us. Shane has hit a market. Uh, his children go to a, a private school in the area. And he has really become quite um, popular among the other um, parents in that school as the go-to guy for their, their auto purchases. And, and that's very wise on their part. Now, uh, being a buyer's agent uh, is going to consist of an uh, awful lot of knowledge about buying cars. You, you, uh, you've got to know... Uh, basically, you're just like a real estate agent. You're doing comps on cars. You're inspecting cars. Uh, everything re revolves in these people putting their trust in you for their automobiles. So having scanners, having compression testers, uh, having uh, uh, access to uh, auto checks and car facts is very important to the buyer's agent, but it has... Like I said, it has proved to be uh, very popular for us. It helps us maintain inventory. Uh, there's just the people that are smart enough to use uh, buyer's agents are incredibly intelligent because they know uh, we as agents, uh, car purchasers, car dealers, we buy literally hundreds of cars each year. And the average person out there is only buying maybe one car every four or five years. So they're not up to date on things. And, and um, you know, having the, the tools and the information and the data is very important. So uh, the, the car buying agent is becoming very, very popular. So uh, if you're interested in getting your, your license, getting access, this is a major starting point and then you establish yourself as a buyer's agent rather than having the overhead of a car lot. Uh, it, it, hopefully, my goal within the next six months is to be operating solely as a buyer's agent. I happen to know in our area here that our leaseholder uh, is planning on going up on the overhead here, and uh, I'm planning on going down uh, on the overhead. I want my overhead a lot lower than it currently is and one of the ways for us to do that is become more effective in being a buyer's ex uh, agent and networking uh, and, and using the home office as the, the place to establish communication with the uh, 
uh, potential prospect of a car. Please like and share this channel if you enjoy this information. Have a wonderful day.